Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to reflections in 3D. So this is slightly different from what we're used to in two dimensions because we can't reflect in a line when we're in three dimensions because you can imagine real life, if there was a line, a mirror that was just an infinitely small line, you couldn't really reflect in it. We look into a mirror, which is like a miniature sort of version of a plane. It's like a sheet that we can look into and see how it would be reflected. So in 3D, we reflect in a plane. So we're going to see how we describe the planes. So we need to be able to describe the XY plane, the XZ and the YZ plane, which if you're unfamiliar with, I'll link the previous video on that. And then I'll show you how we can derive the transformation matrix for each of these reflections, which is actually pretty simple. So if this video is useful, please do like and subscribe. Okay, so to look at this, we're going to look at three different examples for the three different planes that we're going to be interested in reflecting in. So let's start off with this one where we have to find the matrix M which represents a reflection in the XY plane. So that's the plane with the equation Z equals zero. And you can see I've sketched it on here. Now to find this matrix is going to be very similar to what we were doing in two dimensions. We're going to see what happens to our I, J and K unit vectors under the transformation. And these will give us the columns of our transformation matrix. So let me plot on those points. So I'll put on the point 1, 0, 0. So that's here. I'll put on the point 0, 1, 0, which is here. And finally, I'll put on the point 0, 0, 1, which is here. So 0, 0, 1. So we're reflecting in Z equals 0, which is the XY plane. Hopefully that you can kind of visualize this from my sketch. Well, the points 1, 0, 0, I'll highlight them. The points 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0 are actually on the plane. So they're going to be invariant under the transformation. They're not actually going to move. They're going to stay fixed. But the point 0, 0, 1, well, that's on the z-axis. That's going to be flipped in the plane, and it's going to end up down here somewhere with the coordinates 0, 0, negative 1. And so my matrix M that represents the reflection in the in the xy plane is going to be m such that well the point 1 0 0 is fixed so that's my first column the point 0 1 0 that also remains fixed so that's going to stay there and finally my point 0 0 1 has moved and it's now 0 0 negative 1 and so this matrix here represents the reflection in the xy plane let's now look at this second example where we want to look at a reflection in the yz plane or the plane x equals zero. So again, let's repeat this process. So I'm gonna plot my points, one, zero, zero. So over here, we've got zero, one, zero. Hopefully this is kind of clear. My pictures aren't perfect here. And uh, zero, zero, one. So let's see what's gonna happen. Well, the point one, zero is actually gonna be reflected in this, and it's gonna end up over here with negative one, zero zero that's hopefully you can see it's reflected in that to become negative one zero zero the point zero one zero well that's on the plane so that's invariant and same for the point zero zero one that's also going to remain fixed and so my matrix m is going to be uh, negative one zero 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 one zero and zero zero one now finally, let's look at the third type where we are reflecting in the XZ plane. Okay, so again, let's put on our point. So I've got the point here, which is one, zero, zero. I've got the point back here, which will be zero, one, zero. And my point on the Z axis, which is zero, zero, one. Okay, so let's think what's gonna happen. Well, the point one, zero, zero, that's on the plane. So that's gonna remain fixed, so my matrix M we'll have a first column of one, zero, zero. The point uh, zero, one, zero, that's gonna be reflected in the plane and end up over here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. So that's gonna be moved to the point zero, negative one, zero. So that's my second column. And finally, the point zero, zero, one, well, that's on the plane, so that's gonna remain fixed. And there we go. They're the three matrices that we wanna know for reflections in the XY, XZ, and YZ plane. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I've got loads of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.